What's going on guys, welcome back. It is Mystery Box Monday. I hope everybody's had a good week. I myself have had a pretty good week. And as you can see by right here, yes, I have finally finished the Larry Wood series. Took me a while, but I finally found one singular gold bone shaker. Absolutely awesome. It will be an awesome addition to my bone shaker collection. This I will not be opening today. Unfortunately, also found something else that I just wanted to show off. Let's see what it, what you think. Notice anything wrong with this card? Oh yeah, it's also on a USA card. Can you tell me what's wrong? Yes, there is a steely wheel on the back. And if you look below, it is only one single steely wheel. The opposite one is one of these wheels. So, what a fantastic addition to my error collection. I may have to do an update on my error collection soon, since I keep finding them. And continuing with the, the show and tell, I found a Cars, a Disney Pixar Cars. Scavenger Hunt. This one here being Metallic Sally. The Porsche Carrera. Lovely metallic blue paint job. Has got details on the back. 301 PCE. Awesome looking car. You can see the Porsche logo on the front there. And no, I'm sorry, I will not be opening this one either. But don't worry, we've got some good cards in here which we're going to open. And that also reminds me, these were just for show and tell. I will have to show and tell all of my Ferraris soon. I was able to pick these up nice and cheap. And I also found today another Ferrari. This is a Ferrari Enzo from the Shell V-Power series. These were available in Shell service stations, gas stations, and I only noticed today it's actually a Hot Wheels. Who would have thought this was a Hot Wheels, considering that it is completely plastic? Nonetheless, stay tuned for a Ferrari episode. Now that I have a few Ferraris in my collection, I can actually, I can actually do a proper episode. All right, ah, sorry. One more thing before we start opening cars. I found myself a Siku set. Siku super set with an ambulance and an, an emergency helicopter. And very good price too. There was no way I was gonna pay $25 for two vehicles. So expensive, but in Australia, Siku is a rather hard thing to find, and when you do find them, they are rather expensive. But this is a pretty good set, licensed by Daimler. Show you a quick look at the back. So I'll also be doing a Siku episode. Let's see how I find a date. On this anywhere. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure when this was released, but not to worry, stay tuned for a Siku episode. All right, let's see what we have in the mystery box. Starting with a uh, Lamborghini Aventador J. It's not the super, unfortunately. I went through about or was it about eight boxes over the last couple of weeks trying to find supers obviously and could only find just the regular so got one of these to open very cool nice bright orange paint job blacked out wheels pretty cool in the cockpit there it was very cool I'd love to know how this car would cope in the rain Definitely would like to know how you would drive this in the rain. Maybe there's like little tiny bubbles which come across there. 
keep you nice and dry. It's pretty odd casting, but it is still very cool nonetheless. Very cool. Which one will we go for next? We'll go for, what's this one? The 71 Porsche 911 from the Nightburner series. Magnus Walker. White with blue and red and gold wheels. Nice looking details on this. Magnus Walker, got your Porsche logo on there twice. And Momo 277. Love the lensed headlights on the front there. Very cool. Lens headlight lens lights on the back also. Very nice casting. Looks very cool. And let's go for this one. What's this one? Ah yes, the new 2017 Audi RS6 Avant in metallic blue. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think this looks better in blue than it did in red. Especially this blue. This metallic blue is really nice. Yeah, check that out. Such great details on this car. Nice clear tampos on the front. Good headlights. The wheels actually suit this. Metallic blue is very nice in this. Grey interior. Nice clean rear details also. Definitely nicer in blue. Much, much nicer in blue. And we'll go for this one. Yes, the 2015 Mercedes AMG GT. This is from the Fast and Furious line. Also on a USA card. But very, very nice. It was very hard to find one of these with good tampos, unfortunately. As you'll be able to tell, the headlights are not the best on this. But... When there's only two available to choose from, you kind of have to take the best out of the two. The other one was way worse than this. But this is in, in a nice satin charcoal colour. Satin grey, satin charcoal. Blacked out wheels. Racing stripe over the hood. Nice detail cast into the car itself. All in all, very cool looking car. I'll have to keep my eyes open for one which has got a little bit better detailing. Next we'll go for... Ah, the McLaren 720S. In purple. Very nice. Nice metallic purple on this. It does look a little bit more blue on the camera. But the purple is more of a midnight purple. Have your details on the front, McLaren, tampoed headlights, 10 spoke wheels, nice detailed interior, and pretty nice looking rear section. Some lighting would have been nice, but for a mainline casting, I guess that is, that is pretty nice the way it is. Next we will go for the Volkswagen T2 pickup. I've been meaning to open this one for a while now. Been having, I've had it sitting next to me for about a month, a month and a half, and I just haven't, haven't put it into the box. So here we go, finally got a chance, finally remembered that it was there. Volkswagen T1 pickup truck in the rat rod sort of theme. Nice steely wheels with the white walls. Very cool. Definitely one of the nicer T1s that they did. I like this uh, patinaed look. Next we will go for this one. Yes, it is another European car. Another, another Porsche car, but this is a really nice one. This is the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Really cool looking car this. Nice lime green paint job.
very cool. Tampoed headlights, got your Porsche logo on the front there. Very cool casting this one. These wheels really do suit this car. A little bit of paint tampo on the rear there. Very nice casting. I love the wide flared arches. Just a a very cool car. Very, very cool car. Up next we will have got we have got four left. And yes, we did kind of go for a European theme today. So I decided to bring out the cool combi and the Volkswagen SP2. Both colour variations for this year. So we'll check these ones out and get them into my collection where they belong. First up, the Volkswagen SP2 from the Volkswagen series. This being in a uh, kind of a metallic sand colour with orange and yellow tampos on the side. Also on a USA card. Here we go. It's very hard to see but this is actually a metallic colour. It's actually a very nice metallic colour. I hope you can find yourself one so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's a very nice colour. Nice looking wheels. They do kind of suit the car. But what a cool looking car. I think I have uh, four or five Volkswagen SP2s in my collection now. So another good addition for it. Up next, we'll have the look at the red one. This one being red with light blue and white and black tampos. This one is on an international card. I'll just quickly do this a comparison. USA card has guaranteed for life. International card does not. And on the back, the USA card has all of your information. All of this stuff here. Also tells you the case it was in. So it's a little bit of comparison there for anybody that's interested. So USA card has extra information plus case code. International card, no information really. Just go to the website and no case code at the end. Back to the car. Here we have the Volkswagen SP2 in a nice enamel red, blue and white tampos with a black striping around, blue tinted windows, very cool. And the last two cars is the cool combi in white. Not entirely sure which was the first release. I think possibly this one, but I do not recall. If I had an international, uh, if I had a USA card, I would be able to just have a look on the back for what case code it was, and then I would know. But here we have the Urban Outlaw Magnus Walker Cool Combi in a nice matte white, clean details. The Cool Combi is by far one of my absolute favourite castings, and. To be honest, it is kind of the casting which I try to collect every single one that I can. I'm always looking for the cool combi. Just such a cool, cool car. A cool, cool combi. And then the last car for the mystery box is the blue version. Also in a nice matte colour. This one being a matte blue. Also a very nice car. I can't 
pick a favourite between the two colour variations because they had done so well. Magnus Walker out, Urban Outlaw has been done a lot on a lot of different vehicles but this one they're just simple and they work. But a very nice cool car. The casting itself makes all the all the difference I think. Having a cool casting is always good. And there we go, that box is empty. But don't panic, there's more. Yes, today. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I got the display stand from the shop because I bought the last cars in the shop. I decided, well, I may as well do their recycling for them and help them dispose of their rubbish by putting it into my display. Here you can see all the cars that are available in the series. I've almost got a complete set now. Um, have not got any of these yet. And as we know, going for the gold bone shaker. All right. And as you can see here, one was already partially opened in store, but don't worry. I opened it up and it is perfectly fine. So can we do it? Can we finally get it? Can we get the gold bone shaker? Oh, that flew. Oh, you're going to be kidding me. Well, I'm, I'm super happy. I am so incredibly happy. I finally got the 50th anniversary ones. And this one's the Roger Dodger. That is fantastic. I could not be any happier that is just too cool. Love that. Black Bone Shaker with a gold, uh, not Bone Shaker, Black Roger Dodger with a gold engine, gold wheels. Really nice detailing on the side there. That is awesome. And this card, very cool. Exactly the same as the card art on the series that they released. There's the last ones to get. Twin Mill and Bone Shaker. Oh, I'm so happy. I finally got one of them. I got one of them. It's not the Bone Shaker, but you never know. Maybe one of these ones has the Bone Shaker. And that one was open. That box was actually open. So if somebody decided to either steal that or purchase that, I would have been screwed. I wouldn't have been able to get it. So where's the trusty blunt knife? There we go. Slice that open nice and gently. Come on, can we get the gold bone shaker? I can't believe that I got it. I can't believe I got one of them. That's awesome. I'm gonna move this over. That's so awesome. So we have seven in total. Uh, this will be Ah oh, cool. Another another Roger Dodger, but this one is in, in white with the red stripes. I do believe that I got this one last week. Not to worry. Get on to the next one. We've got four more attempts after this. Ah, oh, that one seems to be open as well. I'll have to check that. I hope that that one's still in there. Come on, can we get it? Can we get it? No, but we got another bone shaker. That's awesome. This is the black one with the skull and crossbones on it. Awesome. Very happy. That's cool. Getting closer. Getting closer. Next, what do we got? Oh, this one's a little bit open. Is this one still okay? Yes, still okay. Still intact. Come on. Come on, Gold Bone Shaker. Da! Another Twin Mill. Moving on. There's only so many Twin Mills that you can have. But, at least I can always give them away to, to friends. Come on, Bone Shaker. Come on, Bone Shaker. Come on, Bone Shaker. Ah, yes, Bone Shaker at least. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's very cool. 
I'm not going to complain about having a second one of these. It's only because I've got one last week and I've had two before of the of the twin mill. So I think I've got four of these now. All right, come on. We can do it. The last two. Can we do it? Come on, gold bone shaker. I'm counting on this box. Come on. I've spent so much money. By the way, these are eight dollars each so you can do the math yourself on what i've spent over the last month and a half or two months of trying to get this gold bone shaker and we've got the blue bone shaker uh the blue twin mill this time at least that's fine i did not have this one yet so very happy to have this one and the last car is this one already it's already partially open i hope this one's okay yes well at least it's in here it's not been opened yet come on gold bone shaker no we have the fast fish i think that's the fast fish yeah well there you go at least i've got a display to put all of these all of these boxes in now so I can have a cool little display on my shelf. Did not get the gold bone shaker. Don't know if my store's, local store is going to be getting these back in. But I am not complaining at all. I got at least one of the cars that I was after. Very happy. Very, very, very happy to get this one out. I really would have loved the gold bone shaker. But that's because I'm more of a bone shaker fan than a Roger Dodger fan. But... How could I not want this? That is so cool. And that officially brings us to the end of another fantastic Mystery Box Monday. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully somebody else will buy these and get the gold bone shaker. And then maybe they'll be interested in swapping four of these for one of those gold bone shakers. You never know. So tell me in the comments which was your favourite. And I will try and find something awesome for next week. I do actually have... I've got a couple of things that I need to do reviews on. So stay tuned for a couple of good reviews. There's a new Forza Horizon... Uh, is it a six car set? Six or eight car set that I'll be doing a review on probably tomorrow. So come back tomorrow and I'll have the Forza Horizon series up, uploaded, reviewed for you to enjoy and then hopefully you'll be able to go out and find it yourself. I'm still trying to find two cars, so hopefully I'll be able to find that tomorrow, and fingers crossed. So, until next week, I hope you're out there finding cool things, adding cool things to your collection. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for awesome mystery boxes. See you next week.